Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Trails to Azure. We are at Emerica Village where we, well, where we had a decent fight <laughs> recently, but we still have a few places to go and one more urgent request that we need to fulfill. So let's go first to the boathouse and Tangram Gate and then let's go to the East Street, talk to everybody there and pick up the one quest we've been waiting for, which I think is to trace the cat. Let's see if they are still busy setting up. Already! I'd uh, better polish up my angling chops and make myself useful uh, to the rest of the boys. I may as well be dead if I can't at least become a professional fisher. Ah, oh, how long has it been since I felt this alive while casting my line? Back in my younger days, I used to duel with my fishing gear on the line like it was nothing. I've got to say, being on the rope like this again actually gets me a little bit excited. Ah, uh, yes. I think we got the aquarium. Yeah, it was for Wazzy's room. And of course we have a steady supply of deluxe dumplings if we ever are rolling in dough. Good. Two thir two uh, thirteen, two fourteen, two fifteen. I'm giving them around one thousand plastic uh, casts before I bait up and get to work, just like I do every day. Exercises like this are perfect for building up uh, arm strength and muscle memory. <laughs> the things he does to become a better fisherman is crazy. But hey, if it works for him, why not? Still wondering what's back here though. All right. Small little place, but very cozy. <laughs> President Rocksmith is known in the Republic as a man of the people. I wonder what kind of man he is behind closed doors. Yeah, he's a man all by himself, probably. Alright. I see if there's anything happening here at the gate. President Rocksmith's limousine came through here this morning. Between preparing to receive him and redirecting traffic, we've been very busy today. With uh, all these foreign dignitaries coming to Crossbell, the CGF has to be especially on its toes. Yes, they do. Well, President Rocksmith has been securely escorted to Crossbell City without incident. We will continue to stay vigilant throughout the trade conference. As you should. Well, this morning's uh, traffic regulation made it nearly impossible to get through uh, Tangram Hill. Then again, it was due to President Rocksmith gracing Crossbill with his presence, so I suppose it's alright. Well, if someone that important comes through, yeah, you gotta have security. All the vehicles that couldn't pass through Tangram Hill due to the traffic restrictions have been rushing through one after another. Uh, I was sort of expecting this, but that doesn't make it any less busy. Man, I want to be on security detail at Michelin too. I've only been uh, once, but the food at the restaurant there is amazing. Then again, Michelin is shut down while the trade conference is in progress, so I guess the place won't even be open. Orcus Tower piqued my interest, so against my better judgement, I came to Crossbell to have a look. Now that I saw it at the unveiling ceremony, it's about time for me to head on home. Yeah, it's a beautiful tower. The only thing is, how corrupt will it be in the end? You can't talk about Calvert without mentioning the diverse melting pot of cultures they have. Eastern culture in particular has had quite the impact on their culinary arts. There's a lot that uh, a cook like me can learn from all the excellent Eastern uh, cuisine. Yeah, I hope to experience it once day, one day, because there has to be an episode or a part in the game that uh, takes to Calvert. Maybe Daybreak or even the new uh, game that got announced? Because I have not read up on every part that comes after where we are right now, because 
I want to be as little spoiled as possible. Word is that the visiting dignitaries will get to see Arkan Seal perform tonight. I suppose that's the privilege awarded to the guests of the state. But boy, do I envy them. Yeah, I get what you mean. Because uh, watching a show like that whenever you want. Yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely a privilege. President Rocksmith limousine was guarded by the procession of escort vehicles. It was quite a spectacle to behold. I suppose the Republic could do not less for their leader. I was sweating bullets when we received President Rocksmith limousine at the gate. I get nervous easily, so I'm worried I might have totally screwed up my salute. Not that the President would care about some lowly guardsman, but jeez, that was way too much pressure for me. <laughs> ah, come on. Yes, he is a very important person and it would definitely affect your career if you made a big mistake, but you'll manage, really. Oh, Commander Bill's promotion and Sergeant Mayor Seeker's transfer ended up happening around the same time. As a result, Tangram Gate doesn't have nearly as many women stationed here as it used to. Oh, I know there's nothing we can do about it, but it's still a pity. Well, it's lonely without you and the Commander around. Who am I supposed to gossip with now? Not to interject, but can't you just gossip with the male guardsman? Hmm, are you really this oblivious? Ladies can gossip the way they want to with a man around, Lloyd. That sounds like a double standard to me, but at this point I am too afraid to pry any further. Yeah, he gets enough uh, on his normal days with the ladies, so he doesn't want to poke the bear unless it's absolutely necessary. Oh, it's good to see you, Deputy Commander Douglas. Ah, the SSS. You've come at the perfect time. I was just about to take a breather. Why don't you keep me some company while you're here? Hmm, <laughs> knowing you, your day of hanging out is probably a round of combat practice. Well, as tempting as that sounds, I don't have time for my usual lunch break workout. <laughs> that says a lot about how busy you are. Well, it's only to be expected, seeing as the main session of the conference is just 24 hours away. I intend to make sure our security setup during the proceedings is as infallible as it can be, but factors to consider are constantly shifting. I'll need to meet with Commander Bills again tomorrow morning. She is currently in charge of the guarding Michelin for the remainder of the day. Oh, your concern is understandable, considering how many heads of state will be in one place at August Tower tomorrow. Though, no matter how hard you try to prepare, there's always going to be something that needs improving. Well, sure, but it'll be easier to the rest at night, with the CGF taking the lead on things. Especially with old Thunderbolt Douglas back in their corner. Thunderbolt? <laughs> well, it's been a while since I've been uh, gone by that name. That's why some uh, used to call me before I was shipped off to the police academy. Thunderbolt this, demon that, I've never understood the fascination people have with these kind of silly nicknames. Well, they both sound uh, fitting to me. Okay, okay, that's enough of the teasing. Um, as I was saying, we'll be going the extra cells uh, tomorrow morning to ensure that the security during the conference is invaluable. Leave the strategizing to us. The SSS has its own duties to focus on. Can do, sir. Thunderbolt, huh? <laughs> ah, that one takes me back. Um, as I was saying, we'll be going the extra cells tomorrow morning to ensure that security during the conference is invaluable. Leave to strategizing to us, the SS has its own duties to focus on. That we do, that we indeed do. Don't think there's anything here, but since we can... Ooh, haven't picked this one up. Jumping gear. Holy crap, is that a mother hacking Gaharn reference? Maybe? <laughs> hmm. Not too shitty. Yeah, movement for Randy, evade for Lloyd. <laughs> but uh, that's it for Tangorum. So I'm guessing now we are ready to go to E Street, talk to the people there, and finally start doing our, well, mandatory quest. Hmm. 
Yeah. Might as well move from the garage out. And on our way there, we might as well put up all our requests. Wing? Is it a Master Quartz? It does sound like it, doesn't it? is test down 25% all right yeah I'm, I'm sure the more we get the more we start to pick the right one for every character all right let's get out on this side and do our last region of crossbill President Rocksmith Limousine passed by here not too long ago. It was a pristine white with uh, striking gold accents. Very presidential. You probably wouldn't be able to find another car like that if you searched the entire continent. Well, he is the president, so he's gonna be the one with the most uh, extravagant transports. Oh, I was amazed with uh, when they finally revealed the Orcus Tower. So amazing, in fact, that my poor knees gave out right from on the knee. Yeah. Oh, these spinny toys are super fun. Spinny, spinny, spinny. Whoa, Meling, your eyes are swirling. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Oh, the unveiling of August Tower has the city at a fever pitch today. I smell sales on the horizon. I don't usually go to the department store, but... It might be worth checking out right now. Man, Orcus Tower sure sticks out, huh? Well, it gets my craftsman blood flowing. I think I'm gonna try building a model of it. I already made a model of the old city hall back when the anniversary festival. Might as well keep the trend going. By the way, I think that the chairman Moore's grandson's over there. Talk about a surprise guest. I don't see him uh, come around the stalls uh, too often. Do you have anything nice then? I'm guessing the old cushion is the one we already have. Because we come by this shop often enough, so. Would be weird if we hadn't. Handicrafts, huh? I'm actually pretty good with my hands. Maybe this could be a good fit. You think Kronk here would be willing to hire me though? Hey, you can always ask. Oh, using acerbic uh, tomatoes in a dish can help add a great depth of flavor. I wouldn't recommend putting it in something light like a salad though. Acerbic tomatoes on their own are terribly bitter. I can't say I'm much of a fan. I hear that the Liberalian Crown Princess uh, is in town for the conference. When you think of liberal, the first thing that comes to mind are the famous acerbic tomatoes, right? I hear they were actually created by an orbit manufacturer called the Zeiss Central Factory. Uh, this CF may specialize in orbital engineering, but they also gave us the gift that is the acerbic tomato. <laughs> ah, talk about cutting edge. Not long ago, the acerbic tomato had the humble beginnings in a lab at the Zeiss Central Factory. The CCF may uh, specialize in orbital engineering, but they also gave us a gift that is the tomato. Talk about cutting edge. Yes, and as widely know everywhere. Now that the mom is boycotting the housework, it's falling on the men of the family to pick up the snack. Me, I'm in charge of the meals, but what did I buy? God is willing, we'll make it through this conference without Hey You and the Red Constellation causing any trouble. Ah, this job is murder on my nerves. Oh, poor security has gotten pretty strict it seems. 
One of my buyers from Calvert was complaining about how long it takes to uh, enter a state now. Clearly, having all these foreign dignitaries here in Crossbell is a big deal. Yes, it is. Wow, East Street uh, is bustling right now. Guess that means they've lifted the traffic restrictions. I better get back to work. Oh, Daddy said that the Calvert has uh, even more Eastern than Crossbell does. We moved here when I was just a little baby, so I don't remember it at all. But from what I hear, it sounds like a lively place. <laughs> it must be fun, I bet. Oh, hey there, SSS. Oh, you guys here for lunch? And hey, what do you all think of the unveiling ceremony? Amazing, huh? Well, I won't be forgetting it anytime soon. Oh, being in the presence of all the dignitaries was overwhelming, to say the least. <laughs> no kidding, right? Especially the blood and iron chancellor. He's the real deal. This was my first time seeing him up close and personal. It made me realize just how intimidating he really is. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. There was this guy right beside the chancellor. Sort of looked like his secretary. Wasn't that uh, that lector kid you were hunting down a while back? The one I mentioned seeing here. Well, <laughs> cat got your tongue, huh? <laughs> I get it. But you know, that actually reminds me of something else. Oh? What would that be? Oh, last year around springtime, the Blood and Iron Chancellor and former Speaker Hartman held a little informal meeting behind closed doors. But you guys already know about that, don't you? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, it's common knowledge within uh, certain intelligence challenges. Sure, but that wasn't the case at the time. Neither the cross nor Erebonian media reported on it. And naturally, the CBD didn't manage to get their mitts on that info at all. What's more, despite being so important, he hardly had any guards assigned uh, to him. It's almost as if he casually dropped in for a quick stroll around Crossbell. I guess that's how uh, they managed to keep the whole thing on the down low. Hmm, sounds scandalous. Yeah, if I didn't know any better, I'd call it a load of pool. Exactly! And what really ticked me off is that all of this happened right under my nose. You can bet I looked into it uh, after the fact, gathering dirt from every nook and cranny. Doing so netted me a list of possible suspects involved in setting up that secret rendezvous. One of them stands out in particular, a young man named Lecter. We do already know who he was uh, with the Chancellor during that meeting. Yeah, though I'm surprised to learn that he was responsible for arranging it. Oh, his diplomatic skills are out of this world. Right, a mere secretary wouldn't be able to pull uh, off something like that. That is, unless he's also a member of the Imperial Army's famed intelligence division, right? Yeah, what if? Hmm, leave it to Grace to figure that all out on her own. Man, I sure hope she never goes uh, digging into my love life. <laughs> Looked like I hit the bullseye. Still, I can't believe the bozo I met uh, with you guys was that lector. Anyway, you guys probably have loads of work to do, so I won't keep you any longer. Now I know there's a lot more uh, to that lector fella than meets the eye. You guys have better watch yourself out uh, around him. We know, we know. We'll be careful. Oh, it was nice speaking with you, Grace. As it always is. Once we finish chowing down here, I'll be hitting the old dusty trails for some more conference coverage. Security around the dignitaries is bound to be tight, but I might be able to sneak in a peek while they're on the move. Fox said it would be cool if we opened our own restaurant someday. We don't have the kind of mirror for something like that. Besides, is he forgetting about our original goal? He probably is. We'll be going around interviewing citizens on the street this afternoon, and if we're lucky, I'll manage to nab some photos of the dignitaries while we're in it. Hmm, oh, this is delicious. Oh yeah, that reporter staying here went out to interview someone or some such, just in case you were curious. <laughs> it sounds more like you are the one that's very curious. Oh, how many times must I tell you, dear? You shouldn't make so much noise while you eat. Have some manners for once. Rumor has it that Master used to uh, run a shop in one of those seedier parts of Eastern Quarter. We first met in Crossbell, but he never talks about his past. He must be mi a mysterious guy, I know. Uh, there was a horrible ruckus outside this morning. They say he was Calvert President driving through the district. But I don't care. 
If it was to the Pope himself, I won't stand for anyone running the peace and quiet of this neighborhood. <laughs> uh, I would have loved to see him uh, walking out and trying to, um, well, take down the troublemakers. Oh, Roos is uh, always trying to make things uh, fit the mold. You know, shove every idea into a box. But sometimes you gotta think outside of it. Why not evolve our plans to start a business together into opening a restaurant together? Yeah, because we're getting so much experience here in running an inn and a restaurant. It wouldn't be the most terrible idea. It's just, what location would you pick? Let the down street all done. Oh, my husband used to be at his wit's end dealing with Roy's apathetic uh, attitude. But that boy has been working much harder lately. Perhaps someday he'll even wind up joining the association. If he did, I'm sure my husband would be one of the first to celebrate. Oh, I'm sure he would. Ah, uh, my grandson Roy has taken an interest in working at one of the street stalls. I did used to run one myself uh, back in the days. Perhaps it's in our blood. <laughs> or he just uh, find a place which he think might be fun to stay at. Because fun seems to be very important to him. Oh, Lord Lake Lord uh, hails from a long family line of barons in the Empire. Supposedly a lot of Arabonian nobles double as business entrepreneurs. In Lord Lake Lord case, he's a professional fisherman on top of that. Amazing, isn't it? Apparently he received special education for gifted anglers ever since he was a child. What it entails though, I could not say. A lot and lots of fishing. Hmm, how goes the angler duels? If you cannot measure up to the challenge, then you are more than welcome to save yourself the trouble and surrender. Just remember that your precious fishing holes will forever be ours if you do. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like he wants to be beaten. And maybe a part of him wants to? Because it means if he's beaten, then there is still room to grow and he can be better and stronger. And of course, in the process, show off. Ah, here we go, boys and girls. The West Samaria Trade Conference is officially on the way. We'll be handling all kinds of requests on top of security details. If anything goes down, the guild will be the quicker than you can say boo. Oh, that's encouraging to know. The Red Constellation and Heiyu Modif have yet to be confirmed, so we can't allow ourselves to relax. Yep, with those nasty Nellies uh, lurking around the conference, we've got to be extra careful. Anywho, we have our department on speed uh, dial if we learn anything important. Thanks, Michelle. Same from our end. Yes, of course we keep them in the loop. That's how you foster a relationship. Looks like they're all definitely out. Alright. This is probably... No, 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 they were upstairs, right? Yeah. Oh, Aunt Clarice said uh, she was going to the cathedral today. You know, I feel like she went there on the same day last month, too. Oh, it doesn't look like Clarice is home today. She often looks after Yujit for me, so I'm deeply indebted to her. I should do something nice next time to uh, show my appreciation. それにマリーは必ず見つかるさ。だからサニータ、元気を出し。ああ、君たちは。まあ。どうもこんにちは。依頼を拝見して伺いました。ちゃんと見てくれたんだね。ありがたい。正直なところ、警察というよりギルドに
昨日の夕方過ぎからなんだ家族みんなで東通りの露店を見ている時に目を離している隙に突然いなくなってしまったみたいでその後商店街の皆さんにも手伝っていただいてああそれで夜になるまでみんなで探したんだけど結局見つからなかったんだ<笑>お父様は嘘つきですわ今朝になれば帰ってくるって言ったのにすまないサニータサニータちゃんちなみに何か目撃情報はあるんですか Well, so far we only read one comment about the cat, and that was the boys in their old house. So, something definitely fishy going on there. Ah, to it, demo, sweet, a kino no dan kai no mono da kedo ne. So, let no jofo ni urto, sasna ni kaido ni o dete ina yo nan da kedo. Chu o hiroba home e mukau, mari o mita to yu hito ga ite ne. Kino a mo yoru mo so katta kara, so le jo wa oi kirezu. で、音沙汰なく今朝に至るってわけか。となると、市内であれば、どこへ行ってても不思議じゃねえかもな。つまり、捜索範囲は市内全域ってことかなうーん。もう少し何か手がかりが欲しいところだけど、失礼ですが、これまでにマリーちゃんが出て行ったことは。いや、それが一度もないんだ。何しろマリーはサニータによく懐いていてねそれに臆病な子だから自分から離れてどこかに行くのはどうにも考えづらいんだよだから何かの拍子で僕たちを見失って迷子になったんだと思うんだけど Yeah and if that's the case then it gives the reason that she went back to your old place because that's the one location she knows なるほどそうですかとにかくまずは町に出て探してみるしかないのかしらなあとりあえずはそこから始めるしかなさそうだな僕も落ち着いたらまた探しに行くつもりだけど長丁場になりそうだしもし他に用事があれば先に片付けてくれて構わないからねそうですねい,いえ他は大丈夫なのですぐに捜索を始めたいと思いますそうか助かるよじゃあロイドまずはどこから調べるのそうだな昨日の繰り返しになるかもしれないけどまずは足取りを追う意味でも東通りから調査すべきだろうなま妥当っちゃ妥当か<笑>捜査の基本ってやつだねちなみにこの東通りでマリーちゃんが行きそうな場所に心当たりはありますか The fish stand, I'm guessing. えー、それなら露店にある魚屋さんですわねこの辺りでは一番のお気に入りの場所なんですのああ今朝は確認してないけどもしかしたらひょっこり姿を見せているかもしれないし店主のマルテさんには昨日捜索を手伝ってもらったから来ていればわかるはずなんだよければそちらの方で話を聞いてきてもらえるかいなるほどわかりましたところでボンドさんの方はこれからどうされるんですか幸い今日は仕事も休みでねもう少ししたら昨日の続きで捜索を始めるつもりだけど東通りの人たちには昨日のうちに大体声をかけて回ったからね今度は中央広場の方を地道に回って情報を集めようと思ってるんだ何かあったらいつでも声をかけてほしい了解っすそれじゃあまずは露店の魚屋で聞き込みかなあ,あ早速向かおう<笑> Marie gone missing I do wonder cause if we have an idea where she might be and we go there before the quest wants us to go there could we then unlock the hints there already or do we need to wait till the game says no no go there now's the time thank you again for agreeing to help For now, I'm going to continue searching over in Central Square. Please, let us know if you find any leads. Please forgive me, Marie. This is all my fault. Oh, Sunita. We need to find her quickly. Yeah, let's hurry for Sunita's sake. Please find Marie, everyone. The poor thing must be so lost and afraid right now.
Oh, are you all looking for Bond's family cat? His poor daughter has been in tears over that lost kitty for over a day now. I hope you all manage to find her. Me too. Well, the cat has to be somewhere. So the only thing we can do is track it down. Oh yeah. Nanika Yozikai? Eh. Choto o kikistai kotoga animaste. Lloyd explained the situation and asked Marty if uh, she had spotted Marie since yesterday. Ah, Bondo-san is a dog. But I haven't seen her today. I put it in the bag for her. 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 なんとか見つけてあげてちょうだいねえもちろんですご協力ありがとうございましたまずはカラブリッカロイドさんこの後はどうするんですかああとりあえずは周辺で一通り聞き込みを行ってあとは捜索範囲が広がってしまうけど can we not just go straight to Zaid then? Considering if his nose is gonna come into play? それはいいんだけど。ティオちゃんがいない状況でちゃんと意思疎通できるかしら。そうなんだよな。でもまあ、そこはなんとか身振り手振りで。あれ、何してんの？ Ah, uh, her again. ランディにお兄さんとお姉さんたちじゃん。こんなところで何してんのさ。どうでもいいだろうが。とっととうせろ。まあ釣れないな。それじゃあそっちのお姉さんの体に聞いちゃおうかな。Ah, you just try it. また思いっきり揉んでみたいし。ちょ、ちょっと。見ての通り、特務支援課のお仕事でね。君たちに関係のある話じゃないから絡まないでくれないか。うん、別に絡んでるつもりはないんだけど。ちなみにどんな仕事
すぐに飽きるかもしれねえし様子を見てみるとしようぜわかった俺たちも早く住宅街に行こう Yeah, and we already heard a comment there that we know that a cat has been there, at least. And then a bunch of kids, annoying noble kids, has been、uh, messing around with it, which is not good. Let's see if we can、uh, bring this to a really nice close. But it all depends how willing these kids are to cooperate. She's actually in her party right now. Oh well. It、uh, might help if we need,、uh, let's say, some convincing of、uh, the kids in here. But. I oh, oh, why are we going back? I thought the cute little kitty house was down here. Yeah, yeah, it is. Renny's right. There's no point trying to talk her out of this. But yes, what I was about to say is that I might leave it here. And we'll go into the house on the next episode. Yes, so for now, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and be back next time as we enter the house and see if we can find more clues about the whereabouts of Marie. See you then. Bye bye.